General? Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Midori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Yeah. I know, I said in my last Mass Effect 3 Let's Play that I was done with Mass Effect. I'd gotten my fill, I got my money's worth. I'm finally satisfied with the modding and the happy ending. And you know, I, I'd gotten it all out of my system. But, I was looking on the Mass Effect Saves website and I came across this save. It's a renegade where in Mass Effect 2 only two people survived the suicide mission, and that's Kasumi and Morinth. And I thought, wow, that would be cool to play Mass Effect 3, you know, with, with everybody gone, missing, dead, however you want to look at it. So, I'm going to bring that to you. This is not not going to be a, a long-running... Um, Let's play. This is just going to be a what if situation. What if, you know, Samara was dead? What if Jacob was dead? I'm going to show that because I'm curious. I've, I've seen years ago, I think on my Xbox 360, I think I saw what happened. I think, uh, you know, I lost Jacob, died, or whatever. And it's, it's kind of cool, some of the replacements that you get in this game um, for the characters, the beloved characters that didn't make it. So, we're already in progress with our new save, and we have a new Shepard. This Shepard is called Thanos Shepard, if you're looking for a, the save, if you want to play it. Thanos Shepard. Presumably because he lost everybody except for two people uh, in Mass Effect 2. So, here we go. He's a, a bitter, older man. Uh, he had no relationships, no love interest whatsoever, uh, I guess, in any of the games. And here he is. I mean, he's just, you know, he's just a hardened soldier we are playing as a soldier renegade soldier so let's get started with our first what if adventure and we are here on Manet which is the moon of the Turians so you've probably guessed it Garrus died what happens in Mass Effect 3 let's see All right, we will take Liara and James as though we had any other choice. And this shepherd is using this heavy, this class heavy armor. And we're using a Valkyrie, I have no mods yet, and an Eagle, which I've been able to upgrade uh, by doing the, I guess the only mission I've been able to do, aside from Mars, uh, there was an N7 mission where we went and got the samples on the Cerberus base. That, that's all we've done so far. All right, and we have, this is James with the Argus and the Piranha and we have Liara with the Hurricane and a wow a level one predator wow yeah I need to hurry up and get some more money because I, I put I, I uh, upgraded Shepard's weapons first alright well let's go I think everybody is leveled up 
for the moment. And we have no warp for her, but I guess that will do. Yeah, we're good to go. Let's go. Decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Clear landing zone. Let me, uh... loved about the soldier that I think they have all the ammo powers whatever kind of ammo you want they've got it so I don't think I'm using squad we'll have to look at that again I don't think I'm using any squad ammo power so the squad will have to do them on their own But yeah, this should be the last time that I play Mass Effect. Uh, I guess until the remaster drops and, you know, then I might play 1 and 2. But I think I'm done with 3, finally. I think I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. I've played it enough. The only class that I did not get to play in Mass Effect 3 was the Sentinel. And I really don't think I will play that. So, yeah, we'll just get through this. You know, I'm curious. I hope you guys are curious as to what happens. And you, you guys may already know what happens when, like, Tremesta, everybody's dead. Get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Farnas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. <laughs> Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Midori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. I'm sorry, that's a big loss for everyone. Reaper bastards. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Well, I'm not leaving this moon until I know where the new Primarch is. I'll fix your tower. Thank you, Commander. 
I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. All right, and one thing, you know, I, I did the realize... To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. Okay, guys. One thing I did realize when I was creating this older character... I mean, the options for creating older characters really aren't in the, the character creator. You can only do so much, like make their hair gray. And, you know, there are certain complexions that make the character look a little bit older. <clears throat> Excuse me. But not, you know, like somebody in their 50s or 60s or something like that. So, it is my hope that the character creator in this remastered trilogy that is rumored to be coming out, I hope that there is more option and availability and flexibility in the character creator, but not to the point of Andromeda, because I had a huge problem with creating characters that looked like clowns with green hair and all kinds of weird makeup and I mean that that was just a travesty to Mass Effect. I mean th this is supposed to be well at least at least this part of Mass Effect I would say a military type adventure. I mean granted that um, Andromeda was more of an exploration type game but I thought they were just a bit way too liberal with the character creator options, but I just hope that they enhance you know, some of the, the character creation in a remaster. Alright, here are Arturians and they've got their Faistons. That's part of the uh, Project Variety mod that gives uh, the races and stuff the right weapons. See what we can do. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah! Let's take them! What? Already, Liara? You could at, me, at least make it seem like it was difficult. Just pretend like it was difficult, Liara. Take some extra time. While James and I get our target practice skills on. Uh-oh. Are there more? Oh, yep, there are. Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palavin Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. All right, and leveled up. So this would be our moment of truth at this point. Garrus should be introduced to the game. Let's see what happens. I have news. I'm listening. 
After sifting through people who are dead or MIA, Palavan Command tells me the new Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. He's currently on this moon, on the front lines. We're attempting to contact him. However, you may not be happy. He has a reputation for being a maverick, for playing loose with accepted strategy. Can I trust him? I don't know if I should read these or not, but hey. I need Turian support to have any hope of taking back Earth. Is this guy gonna mess things up for me? If you're asking for my professional opinion, I'd say I don't know. But I'm wary. Can I ask for someone else? Hmm. Of course not. I'll make it work. General, sir, I still can't raise him. Let me have a look. Yes, sir. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. Hang tight, Joker. I'll be back as soon as I can. Incoming Harvester! <laughs> General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. Come on, let's go hit this bad boy. I'll radio you as soon as I've contacted our new Primarch. Right, let's go. Alright, so no Garrus. And Liara does not leave to go to the Normandy to help with the problems that Edie is experiencing. So she's with us. And that'll be different. I've never uh, had the opportunity to fight here on Palavin with Thank Liara. You, Little adrenaline rush. Telling you, these soldiers, no slouch. No slouch. I don't think this is the gun that I'm going to want to use for very long, but uh, you know, it does at least get the job done. I think there's only something over here to pick up. Yeah, some credits. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Alright, let's get over here and see what we can do. Can we save? Yes. Got him. Alright, I'm hoping you guys can handle these things. Like fish in a barrel. Oh, 
Yara's doing an excellent job defending the left side here. Bad, who are something? Oh, holy hell, what is that thing? Break yourself. that Liara went down Shepherd, Corinthus here. what's the word on the Primarch still can't get a stable comm link okay I'm going on foot head toward the planet got it Shepard out let's go find our Primarch okay any uh I guess I'll find uh, ammo on the way just in case we're low. He said to head for the planet. Looks like it should be quick unless we find trouble. There's the planet. Okay, we're full. Just look at Palavin. The Turians may not make it. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day, five the second. I hope we're doing better back on Earth. Where would Garrus have been in all this? Pissed, and right in the thick of it. If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reaper, Shepard, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Yep, Garrus would be right here, Liara, and you would be back on board the Normandy. Going, people. We have time for sightseeing later. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago, and itself. Got it. Well, these games when you first start off they give you all these uh, credits and stuff oh, oh, oh. that was a little closer than I like I'll say because you really need them when you're starting off with really little experience and your skills and weapons aren't leveled up James, he can't even keep up. Tough sons of bitches. 
Okay, double time. No reapers taking this Primark from me. Right behind you. Oh, we've been double timing it. guys got how about a frag grenade all right he's down Stasis Liara. Turn up the heat. Are there more? with me dude I'm a soldier so I'm not gonna sit back and hurl powers at you is there more music is still chime in but I think that's it all right let's pick up stuff experience yeah it seems like something is still going on we got this music and here's the Reaper black star that I uh, probably could have used to destroy the incoming brutes but we did it conventionally with our regular weapons all right here we go general victus yes i'm commander shepherd of the normandy not commander i know who you are i can't wait to find out what brings you out here General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Primarch Fedorian is dead. You are the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. You're all I've got. This is crucial. I need you on top of your game. 
Are you in or out? Watch your tone, Commander. Look, you've met the Reapers head on. You're overqualified. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Seeing Palavin like this, up close, I'm afraid for my people, our home, for Thessia. Imagine if they'd listened, Shepard. If we'd been ready. Yeah, I know. But we're gonna give this everything we've got. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavin... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like this summit just got a lot more interesting. To say the least. I apologize for being so frank, Commander, but your plan feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Salarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. Still, we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time. And we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Our lines would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander. And goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Well, I've got some much-needed money so I can upgrade my weapons. And let's see what Admiral Hackett has to say. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? That's it. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Okay, so there we have it. The differences without Garrus is that Liara stays on the planet and fights. Primarch Victus. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship and for going along with this plan. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. But there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Nope. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavin. And mine with Earth. I don't know, people. Do you think he was being disingenuous? Just parroting back what uh, Shepard was saying. Alright, so now we have Turians on board. Commander, he just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. All right, deck three it is. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something.
I'm going in. Eating. You know, was that me. limp people? I think that was supposed to have been Joker that was down there with the flamethrower. The flamethrower, the fire extinguisher. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me. But I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Nice going. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. We can do that. I'll tell you when I need it. Excellent. I will run tests to ensure that it matches or exceeds the capabilities of organic squad mates. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy, to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. Amen. Okay, well, I think we can uh, end here. And in our next episode... Well, hold on. No, let's go upstairs. So that I can prepare you for our next episode. Commander, I found something suspicious. Have you got a minute? Yes, I do, trainer. Commander, are you alright? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she'd told me about her plan to obtain a body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper Invasion Front will hit them soon. We have bigger jobs. This sounds like a job for an evac transport. Right, and a Turian transport responded to their distress call. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. She said the fake Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy's being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. It's worth a look. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. Okay, so we have the opportunity now to go to Grissom Academy, where Jack would normally be found. But guess what, people? She's dead. All right, so until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out.